so we're going to be replacing this panel just like I did on this side. Sorry about the glare. Uh, restoring my 90. You see it over there in my barn. Well, this back panel is horrible. This cap needs to come off. Hopefully I can salvage this because it's on obtainium right now. But to get this panel off, you got to take the cap off. And to paint the truck, you should take the cap off because if not, you're going to have some crap paint job and whatnot. So you could take this corner piece off. You're going to take out all these rivets. And then um, in here, you see these uh, spot welds uh, that are here on this plate. You see that plate? That's part of the truck chassis or, or tub. This is part of this panel, so that's going to be changed. All right, so just keep that in mind. You got some rivets all over the place. Don't worry, it's easy. And uh, we're going to take this this thing off. Sorry, I'm not good at videos, but uh, that's it. So I did that side. Ain't a big deal. Um, I'll be back. Okay, so there's Maha. <laughs> he kind of runs the place. So I took the cap off. All this crap is glue. Use a propane tank or, you know, like a, a map gas for doing uh, plumbing. So you're going to drill out these. Well, these rivets are gone. There's a rivet here. This thing is rusted. Leave it. These are the spot welds here. There are spot welds in here. They're impossible to get to. So I just learned a little trick. Trial and error. Um, you're going to drill out these rivets here. There's one more. Okay, there are two bolts here. Um, they're impossible to get because they're rusted and oxidized. They're dead. So this is how I do it. I'm actually going to cut this thing into four quadrants and across. And I'm just going to rip it apart. I see a spot weld here, here, and here. But those are part of the panel. So that's not going to help me. So I'll be right back. Okay, so that's what I did. Cut these. You got to take this bolt out here. I got some damn corrosion there. These need to be ground down, all these rivet heads. This is okay, this will be covered. I'm gonna drill two more holes here for rivets. Um, this is fine, that'll be bent back. And that's it, and what you wanna do here is uh, brush this out with a wire wheel and then hit it with a self etch primer. And let's go ahead and put this panel in. And that's basically it. I hope this all matches. <laughs> I hope, it seems to be a little bit more inset than the original but i guess that's the way it is i can't move it anymore so if i do i'll have a massive gap here okay so that's these holes don't line up and um but this all lines up this lines up beautifully here okay so that's that i put my holes here one two three for now I put four here for now um look these holes are not going to line up there's just no way the panel seems to be right because the gap here looks good um it better be good because over here it's good and the top is good and uh before I put the rivets in I'm gonna self etching right in the back if you notice what I'm doing here. And let's get the rivets in. So. We're gonna line them all up. Um, I don't live in the UK, so I can't get whatever they think is proper over there for these. So I'm using these arrow. I dropped one. Okay, and we're using the Milwaukee rivet tool. And yeah, this thing is a monster. Push down. Bingo. If I was smart, I would have scuffed this area first. So when it comes to paint, or at least laying down my epoxy. Okay, so 
now. We're gonna continue on into here, that bar, that bar right there has to be riveted as well to give strength. So I've already put the holes there from the spot welds. I'm just gonna go ahead and drill them and then put more rivets. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. This, this stays loose until we put that corner cap on. Um, and that'll, that'll bring that all together. And uh, here, the reason I was saying it lines up because you see here, it's all, it's all good up here. And up here, it's the same. But that's really it. I'm not doing anything here because that cap is gonna cover everything for me. I hope, because they're aftermarket also. But those are from YRM, so they should be dead solid. But those guys don't mess around. I'm a, well, I'm not even gonna put one more rivet there because when I put that cap on, that'll do that. I need to put two here, okay? It's very important because I'm not putting the nuts back in. Um, so go ahead and do that now.